Hey, welcome to A Taste of Living in Charleston. This is Bobby Sheely, your 11th generation Charlestonian and your Charleston real estate specialist. Today, we're gonna to talk about mistakes to avoid when buying your first home. Lots of mistakes can happen and you really need to pay attention to this because it's real important. First thing, waiving an inspection. I don't care if your daddy is the inspector. Get a licensed, qualified inspector to inspect your home. I hear all the time, oh, my dad can do it, my brother can do it, my best friend can do it. No, no, no. Get a licensed inspector. Anybody else does that inspection, anything they find is not gonna carry any weight when you go to the seller and say, hey, there's a problem with this, that, the other. Always get an inspection and always get a qualified licensed inspector. Next thing, failing to get a pre-approval letter. How many people call me up and say, hey, will you show me some houses tomorrow? First thing I say is, do you have a pre-approval letter? They're like, no. The next thing I say is, no. I don't show anybody who doesn't have a pre-approval letter because you're not the lender. You don't know what it takes to qualify for a loan. Only your lender does, your best friend doesn't, and for Lord's sake, do not go with an online lender. That's the biggest mistake you'll ever make in your life, I can promise you. But if you're trying to go look at a house without having a pre-approval letter, you're putting the cart before the horse. You've got to know what you qualify for and what your options are. You might think you only qualify for 300,000 when you qualify for 400,000, or you might qualify for 250,000. You always find Find out what you qualify first, then you start the search for the house within that boundary, within that parameter. That's the first step you ever take. And if a realtor takes you out without asking if you've got a pre-qualification letter, they're not doing their job. Just remember that. Spending more on a house than you can afford. You know, we see these houses, we love them. We're like, oh yeah, this will fit in my budget. Well, what about vacations? What about savings? What about miscellaneous that comes up? Things that you don't think about. Always think about when you're buying that house, you don't wanna be house poor. You wanna get the house you want, but you wanna be able to enjoy life and go out to dinner and do fun things as well. Neglecting additional expenses. Many times, especially with a condo, you've got your payment, well then you've got a regime fee or an HOA fee and you forget about you have these other expenses or gosh, my country club dues are due every month or my insurance is due every five months. Think about other expenses you have and, and don't forget you've got those. Letting emotions influence your decision. I can't tell you how many times I've had to sit down, have a one-on-one -on -one with a client and say, think about what your goal is and think about what you're doing. They find the perfect house, everything is fabulous, but it's right next to a highway and they think, oh, I can play music or put in new windows or put up a fence. Well, at three o'clock in the morning, that is not gonna make the sound of that big truck going down the highway go away. I've had other couples found the perfect house, perfect location, perfect style, but it had nowhere to eat. There was a kitchen that had a small table and two chairs and they said, this is our dream home. I said, right, but where are you gonna eat? And they kept thinking they could work around that. Then they realized they were letting their emotions take over that it wasn't the house for them. So think about that. Do research on your agent. For instance, I've been in the business 21 years. When you're thinking about an agent, when you ask your friends and they say, oh, I've got a friend, I've got a relative, I've got whomever, Google that person first. See what their experience is, see what they're capable of, see what they've done, see what their history is. Don't go with a new agent who doesn't know what they're doing. Granted, they've got to get experience somewhere, but let them get it with somebody else. <laughs> Anyway, there's lots of things to do to make this process seamless for you. That's what you want it. You want a seamless, easy process when buying a home. So these are some tips that'll help you. I appreciate you joining me today. Of course, click on that subscribe button, A Taste of Living in Charleston. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, A Taste of Living in Charleston. And most importantly, if you need a realtor, don't forget about me. Bobby Sheely, ERA Wilder Realty. Have a great day. Thanks for joining.